In Delaware County, someone has a $1 million Powerball ticket from last night's drawing. It was sold at Garnet Valley Store and matched all five of the white balls. Now, on the heels of tonight's mega drawing and tomorrow's Powerball numbers, CBS Philadelphia's Siafa Lewis went to the store tonight. One lucky regular customer who frequents this Delaware County Dunkin' and convenience store won a million dollars during Monday's Powerball drawing. It's crazy. We've been open for five years. Never something like this has ever happened. With a seven-figure winning ticket sold here Monday, Tuesday saw many stopping by hoping some luck might rub off on them. I'm hoping for a back-to-back -back win here. I came here to buy a ticket from the Lucky Machine. Figure, you know, maybe twice. You know, two times, I don't know. <laughs> and as usual, folks here are also dreaming big. Get out of debt and a vacation. A Mercedes G Wagon. <laughs> what color? Matte black. Matte black. Oh, got it all picked up. Everybody did Yeah, <laughs> with the red house. <laughs> the red interior. I can live out of my car. And, and <laughs> probably let moms go ahead and retire. You know what I mean? My papa already retired. Let moms go retire, get to my house. Do let them do their thing. On Monday night in South Philly, a gentleman told us that if he won the lottery, he'd spend $39 million of his winnings to rebuild a hospital on the island of Vieques in Puerto Rico. On Tuesday night here in Garnet Valley, another gentleman's response truly spoke to us. Meet Gordon Coleman. If he wins, he is not up and quitting on his employer. I'm not just going to walk away from my employer now. He's been good to me. Um, he's, they've looked out. Uh, I have no complaints with them. I, I definitely would stay with them for a little while until I decided on exactly how I wanted to get myself going and get my feet running. When I told Gordon that his stance was admirable, he said, I don't know, I don't know any other way to be. Clearly, he's already a winner. In Garnet Valley, Siafa Lewis, CBS News, Philadelphia.